there is a tradition in communities worldwide of sacred groves or sacred forests. Let me define the word sacred for you. Sacred is something that is regarded with great respect and reverence by a particular religion, group or individual. I consider this a group. Users, a community, that makes us a group. Or something regarded as too valuable to be interfered with and sacrosanct in that regard. Do people here agree that this park is something that should not be touched? Yes. In that case, in this nation, we do not, not have a formal way of recognizing something as sacred. A community does it by itself. A village says we depend on this forest. We will chart out how this forest grows, we will protect this forest. This is our sacred forest. Today I'm going to ask us as citizens of Gurgaon to, to do the very same. With a show of hands, ladies and gentlemen, do we proclaim the Aravali Biodiversity Park to be our sacred forest? Yes. All in favor. Please got this. Please take pictures of this. This is this is a very significant moment. Just hold it for another minute and everyone get pictures of this. A government body recreates a forest. Municipal Corporation of Gurgaon puts its might, energy, money, officials, collaborates and creates this mining site into a forest. Another agency comes and says, right time to make a road over it. very difficult to understand and the arguments are very strange that to decongest some NH8. We cannot let this place go. As Pradeep said, if this road comes, it will destroy one third. I say half of the park is gone. And what is gone is not just the vegetation. This is a corridor. It's a corridor for wild animals. It's a corridor for birds. It's a... Why are you seeing those scrub robins and others? Because there is contiguity. There is... It is connected. I mean, if, if we don't have MG Road, it is connected all the way to Asola. And if we don't have that Faridabad, Gurga Road, it is connected to Damdama and Mangar. So, it is very important to treat this as heritage, as sacrosanct, these wild spaces. Instead, what we do is we, we try to fragment them. Our request from here is to the Chief Minister, who has shown intent in saving the Mangarbani forest, a rich forest, a beautiful forest in NCR, a sacred forest. He not only saved that forest, he expanded the buffer from 60 meters to 500 meters, bringing, bringing an area, bunny area of 600 acres to 1,700 plus acres. So that is the intent that Mr. Khatter has shown. <coughs> we request to him, and he has been to this park, that the same intent, please show here and please see that road does not come through our wilderness in this patch of Aravlis. Thank you. In the eight years that followed, I planted over 60 trees over here. In this duration, thank you. In this duration, Biodiversity Park became the new lungs of Gurgaon. Parents feel nowadays that their kids have lost their connect with nature. Entertainment and media have become the new childhood for this genera generation. And yet, 
biodiversity park wasn't just a duty I needed to fulfill. It was where I grew up. It was where most of us grew up. I remember climbing rocks, trekking, and just like sometimes sitting and viewing the beautiful city. No road is worth the lungs of this city. I remember seeing a lot of trees and greenery around my house in Diela Phase 5. But as I grew up, I saw each one of those trees being cut down to make more offices and buildings. I have seen my place being converted into this concrete jungle. I really don't remember when was the last time that I felt fresh air around me. I miss this fresh breeze. Whenever I go in summer breaks to Arunachal Pradesh or Himalayas, that's the only place where I can actually breathe clean air. But I worry that place will also go soon in this construction. Air pollution is one of the biggest killers. If we do not realize it now, it will further and further deteriorate this condition. I hate the fact that whenever I have to step out of my house with my sister, we have to wear pollution masks. I hate the fact that I had to drop out of my athletics team just because it wasn't safe for me to exercise my lungs in this high outdoor pollution. I hate the fact that my sister had to also drop out of tennis just because it wasn't safe for her either. I hate the fact that we have to fight to have the right to breathe clean air. I sincerely appeal to the government that we need a fundamental right to live and breathe clean air. And, uh, we saw a forest coming up in front of our eyes and uh, the number of residents, resident birds, that their numbers kept growing and also they were breeding very successfully. Um, between June and August, during the breeding period, we would see um, the bulbuls, the babblers, the prinias, um, the franklins, the peafowls, they're all with their youngs. So something right was happening here in this park. And also as we kept coming, so we saw the migrants coming in. So summers we will see the orioles and the kakus, they keep coming here, spend their summers here. In winters we'll see the um, the red starts, um, the warblers, the pipits, and the wagtails, they spend their entire winters here. And of course, unusual birds kept coming up here. We see the rufous tail scrub robin for two successive, successive seasons. We just saw the grasshopper warbler here. Pretty unusual birds um, to see. And um, there are two very, very special birds here. So at the northeastern periphery, exactly where the uh, highway is being proposed, we have the habitat of Indian eagle owl, a majestic, huge owl. You don't get to see in many places in NCR. That's also the breeding ground of Savannah Niger. Um, very scattered records, but this year we have been able to photograph it breeding there. And that's exactly where the highway is going to come up. Closer. I want to say very plainly what a fantastic thing it is for the people who have made this park to have done what they have done. So, thank you, I am Gurgaon, thank you, Lakika, thank you, Swanzo, thank you, Vijay, and all the people who have been involved with this. For the government to be considering a road that actually cuts through this park and virtually destroys a third of it is just yet another example of a failure of the planning system, of the way planners think in this country.
train starting every two minutes. Planes whizzing past sky rises. That is Gurgaon for most people. The Aravalli Biodiversity Park. Monsoon months showcased the multi hued vegetation of the area, which was developed in over 10 years by MCD Gurgaon and IM Gurgaon, an NGO based in Gurgaon. Peacocks in full breeding plumage. Sashay up and down. Unmindful of the chatter going around from morning walkers and sorry, evening walkers. One on the left and four on the right. Three or four. Three or four. Called the Aravalli Biodiversity Park. Was mined for stones and badatpur for building new Gurgaon. Now the area has Deshi Kadam, Dhao and local shrubs growing. Thanks to the sustained efforts of I am Gurgaon for over 10 years. In fact, most areas of the park has natural vegetation which has been allowed to grow. This white breasted kingfisher is concentrating on the abundance of food below. Crickets, lizards, grasshoppers, etc. etc. For once the park is quiet. So don't miss the peacock calls. Ducks cooing in the background. Baya weaver nests hang among kika flowers.
they seem to have been half built and abandoned. Monsoon water has collected and created a water body, probably near the bioenvironment. Bee eaters lay down to the water. These are green. Drongos at the distance again in the same area. A shutterbug next to me is going on clicking. As evening approaches, uh, the sounds of planes going about can be heard very clearly. But the white cheek, yellow rum, nor is the Indian color. There is some background music from partridges which are very difficult to see. Bird watchers have spotted Eurasian prowlers also here in this season. <coughs> Oh, butterflies. The yellow pansy is resting on a native bush and is happy to flutter its wings from now. Beautiful. If someone is a butterfly fan, this is the right place to come and take photographs. There are so many of them, I have recorded only a couple of them, like this plain tiger, which again is quite happy with the wild flowers. Now that is a grasshopper, a pretty one. They are getting ready for their evening conference. More of them are around. They have been chattering quite a lot. This particular bush seems to be the conference preferred area. Because I have seen them on this kind of leaves before also. especially after the monsoon. Well, evening is approaching.
the warbler sings the ringing tune to let us know the park is about to close and all walkers should be out. Place I can visit any number of times, morning or evening. Thank you. I am Durga for making this park. Come on.